incomplete dominance also called as partial dominance or we also call it as blending inheritance was proposed by a scientist named Karl Korins in the year 1900. This is non-Mendelian genetics because it does not follow the same rules of Mendel's. So, this, um, uh, this question is also very important. It comes for 5 marks. Sometimes they compare this with co-dominance. So, we will go step by step understanding this question. So, incomplete dominance, whenever such a question comes, first thing you write is definition. It is the appearance of an intermediate character. character in the F1 hybrid meaning to say the F1 hybrid will not exhibit any of the characters of any of the parents. So, we will see that how it happens from a cross between two pure breeding parents. So, we will understand this once. So, we are going to get a hybrid which will not be of the same appearance of that of the pure breeding parents. What is pure breeding parents? Homozygous parents. So, in this case we consider a plant called anterinum. I will spell it out A N T I R R H I N U M Anterinum Magus Common name is Snapdragon. Okay. Now we are considering parent generation. So parental generation, what did we say? We are going to take pure breeding plant. So we are going to take red flowers crossed with white flowers. So, red flower plant which is homozygous. Okay, let me put it down homozygous and this is also white flower which is again homozygous. We are going to cross them. So, when we are crossing we know parents are diploid, we need haploid gametes to be formed. So, we are getting capital R and small r, we combine them both, we get capital R small r as a hybrid. Now, as I stated, the hybrid will be an intermediate character. What happens when you mix red and white? You get pink. So, it will have an intermediate character in the first filial generation or what we call it as F1 generation. Now, it becomes even more interesting to see what happens in F2 generation. So, we had already got capital R small r as a hybrid in case of F1 generation. We are going to self it. Selfing is a process where we are crossing the same type. So, we are going to take a heterozygous pink color flower as a standard here. So, again what we are going to get? We are going to get gametes. So, this time we are going to get two types of gametes as I have told you in earlier lectures 2 to the power of n here n is equal to 1. So, you get number of types of gamete as 2. So, you have 1 and 2 types. So, what we are going to do is 
for the F2 generation we will draw a punit checkerboard and do the crossing. So, here is our punit checkerboard getting ready. So, one side will be considered male, the other side will be considered female. Here is one set of gametes, the other set of gametes. So, we are going to cross capital R, capital R, capital R, small r, capital R and small r and small r and small r. So, what is this? This particular one here is capital R, capital R which is red in color and these two is capital R, small r which is two in number is pink and one of them here this one is small r small r is one white. So, should I say phenotypically I can see one red flower, two pink flowers and one white flower. So, what is the phenotypic ratio? Phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. And what is the genotypic ratio again if you see? Again you see 1 capital R capital R, 2 small capital R small r and 1 small r small r. So, genotypic ratio is again 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, if you are going to see the marks distribution, 1 mark for definition, 1 mark for putting in parental generation and then you can see one mark for formation of F2 generation, one mark for phenotype and one mark for genotype totally it is 5 marks. So, what is it different from monohybrid cross seen in case of Mendel? In Mendel we saw this ratio was different in case of phenotype and genotype there it was phenotypically one, 3 is to 1 and genotype was 1 is to 2 is to 1 in this case both is 1 is to 2 is to 1.